welcome to a LEGO City review of set 60134. This is the 2016 community set and uh, there are two notable pieces in this box that make it special. It's the first just sort of wheelchair for a minifigure as well as the sort of first minifigure baby. Um, we've had babies before wrapped in little clothing and whatnot for um, a minifigure series. You had, you know, like a little baby wrapped in the thing. Like a, like, a, like, a like a towel um, being held by the mother, of course, but uh, this is an actual sort of thing that looks like a minifigure with one point of articulation. We'll see that in a moment. And as a general thing, I do like these community sort of packs. Um, it's a great way to really fill up your city sets. Now, city sets usually come with the bare minimum amount of minifigures, and um, sometimes it feels a bit bare, a bit. bit empty and so getting one of these would easily fill it up. I uh, fully intend on using all the figures here to go on into my ferris wheel and my detective office modular set to you know really fill up the numbers. Especially that hot dog one, he's definitely gonna go outside uh, the uh, detective's office. But yeah, um, I'm also glad that these boxes use these uh, sellotape ways of sealing it. I can easily peel it back and uh, open the box. No more ripping boxes. Um, and completely damaging and destroying them. And funny enough, I actually got this from Toys R Us because Toys R Us was cheaper. In fact, it was. Um, I've seen these selling for $430, $450 at Inns Point Yamate Hong Kong because the sellers are hiking the price up because a lot of people want this set and that's what they do. Failing to realize that uh, Toys R Us is only selling them for about 340 Hong Kong dollars, which is way cheaper. And I get to get points. So, hooray! Points! I might be able to spend later for some discounts. Um, so yeah, and inside here there are three bags, and each bag corresponds to each instruction booklet. Instruction booklet 1 has these pieces, instruction booklet 2 these, and instruction booklet 3. And then you got some parts guide on the, on the third book. And uh, any advertisement? Yep, uh, you got the whole uh, Lava Mountain uh, Expedition sets demoed here and they look really they look like really nice sets but I don't have room for them nor do I have the money for them so no no for me as much as I do want them oh well so yes we have some non-specific pieces here we have a uh, merry-go-round not merry-go-round um what do you call these things little spinny things for the kids to go play on uh two really tiny trees I guess the bushes actually a uh, picnic bench as uh the bear would say picnic uh picnic bench <laughs> a little picnic basket which had a little kitten to put in there, or a uh, park bench. We've seen this style built a lot of times in many different sets, especially special here, just in blue color, and a little uh, goal with uh, a football. I'm not too big of all these footballs because um, they function and all, but in a set that doesn't have a court, uh, it's literally just a ball. It's gonna roll off and go into all over the place. And we also have just one fence, one bit of a fence. Uh, hmm. And a uh, bus stop signpost, but uh, new bus. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got a, a grass cutter, which is a nice little build. I like this a lot. This is very nice, nice little build. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. And let's see. Um, we do have a hot dog seller that comes with this hot dog stand, but I guess we'll look at. Yeah, we'll look at the. Okay, uh, figure specific things. I got a hot dog stand here. Must then catch up, and this hot dog plugs into this bun. There's also an extra hot dog inside the machine, and you can uh, open this up to get the uh, stale sausage out because it's been in there for weeks and months, cooking over and over again until someone decides to buy it. We do have a baby carriage. Uh, baby carriage, I'm not too big of a fan of because it's positioned this way and it rolls along just fine. However, the stud. The stud is facing this way, whereas the baby's plug faces that way, so the stud is 45 degrees off. So uh, when you put the baby in there, he doesn't actually plug into the wheel uh, the baby carriage. just doesn't plug into it. Um, oh wow. Let's look at the women first. I like that uh, from a lot of these clothing pieces, they've designed them to be slightly gender generic. Because one thing about this box is that they encourage swapping pieces around, kids with adults, adults you know, boys and women, boys and girls, just, just swapping them around and um, to see what kind of combinations you can get. So you have a businesswoman here with a briefcase, you have a um, farmer-ish looking woman, uh, have a painter, have a little rolling pen 
paint thing and a bucket and uh, she's actually quite nicely printed uh, even the feet have a bit of paint on it so the nice nice little details there uh, what's supposed to be the mum and this baby bottle can actually stand it's got a hole underneath so it can stand on the stud and a uh, grandma so if you take a quick look at some of these backs you see all of them have back print no half of them have back prints uh, which is pretty good so yeah, I had the businessmen in uh, small community sets before, so it's nice to have a female version variant. That's cool. Uh, no face on her back. Now, she has a back face, but uh, I've used the sunglasses one because that's way cooler. Uh, this one's just a generic female face. We've seen that a lot, so the female sunglasses one is cooler. Got a worried face here, obviously splattering paint all over the place. Uh, the mother has no second face, and the grandmother also ooh, has no second face. Yeah, all these are nicely printed. Next up are the men of this set. We have the biker here who has a little red motorcycle. And uh, quick look at his back then, I guess. Uh, no secondary face or anything. And we have generic croissant man who also looks like a lumberjack. Excuse me, I have a bit of a bad cold. He does. He doesn't have a secondary face. The hot dog guy. He's got some prongs there to hold the hot dogs. And a pretty generic chef sort of suit. Grandpa man. That's, that's the name of the suit, new superhero. And of course, finally we have uh, the uh, injured guy that's on the box in the wheelchair who's just wearing a hoodie. Of course, you could have just the old man in a hoodie. And of course, none of these male characters have a secondary face. That's not fair. That's bad. Why do two girls have secondary faces but not the men? Mm. Now I'm going to define the instruction bullet and put the old man in the wheelchair. Ha <laughs> ha! This is uh, this grey is the entire piece. Plug the wheels on it and then front the wheels. And the wheels are not too smooth on this. Uh, they actually uh, feel quite secure. Like they don't they don't roll that easy. So yeah, that's something. Um, yeah, bit bit stiff. And finally we have the kids here, and I have seen uh, images of the, uh, the some of the gremlin, min, uh, the evil gremlin minifigure for the Lego Dimension set. And he has short legs too, but the legs are just a little bit longer than normal short legs, so they are articulated. And so it's annoying that kids still don't have articulation. Hmm. Uh, I like to keep the Benny t-shirt, uh, well classic spaceman, there's a dog there, this one's got an apple, this guy's a flower, a little, little kitty cat there, meow. And um, yeah, uh, hoodie kid. So, uh, this one has a, this hoodie kid has a sad face there. This girl has no extra face. Hooray! One extra face for boy. No extra face there. And this girl also has no extra face. So, but boys are still losing. And finally, we have the baby. Who, in, in images, almost looks like he's articulated, but he's not. Um, the head is, so you can turn the head. And the baby himself is very happy, but the arms and uh, the hands don't move. Um, I think the hands are, in fact, yellow plastic. They've done the two-tone molding thing going on. I think there's a hint of glue on the hand, maybe. Just a little bit. And see the bottom of the baby. It's just a stud, so you plug the baby onto things. Baby plug. If you are a collector of LEGO series, uh, LEGO City series, or line, I uh, highly recommend this. If you just have like firemen or police sets, I also recommend this as well. Uh, this, there's a lot of colorful characters here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 minifigures in this that can really spice up any of your LEGO City sets or creator sets. And yeah, colorful, very different from each other. Lots of variation here, like it a lot. So I definitely recommend you picking this set out. The price of it isn't too expensive. Uh, it's not the cheapest set, but um, it seems reasonable. So yeah, um, can't really think of any flaws with this set. Uh, so I guess some of the background pieces look a bit off, but um, they're not really the main focus of the set. So head out there and uh, get the set and uh, enjoy the first Lego wheelchair and baby. If you enjoyed this video or like it, well, click the like button and subscribe button. Also, leave a comment below if you like about how you feel about the minifigures in this set or any of the other community packs. Um, I've had smaller community pack videos on here before, and uh, they were decent too. But uh, this one's 
definitely the biggest one I've had so far. There have been similar sized ones in the past, I just never came around to getting them. There's also an education set, which also has a similar style with a lot of minifigures inside. Uh, Lego Learner, I think it's called. Uh, one of the Lego Learner sets has a similar box of minifigures. Uh, diff you know, different characters, but uh, also many minifigures in a box. And as always, you can check out my other LEGO videos on this page on both official and knockoff LEGO figures. I would appreciate it a lot if you check those videos out with Adblock turned off. Appreciate it so much. Or you can head over to Patreon and support me that way if you like. But as always, you don't need to do any of that. And um, take care, have a nice day. I have a really bad cold right now. Was it some allergy going on? Uh, my eyes and my nose are going crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna go now. Uh, take care. See you guys soon. Uh, have a nice day.